All right, welcome back to our basement conspiracy. So last week, we learned that there's a basement in our school, but no one ever talks about it, so we feel like something kind of scary is happening. We also learned that Dylan Todd fell down these stairs his freshman year, and he's been acting really different since then, so we thought that maybe he could have been a clone. And our assumptions led us to investigate that a little bit, and we figured out that he is in fact a clone, and that also led us Someone told us that there is an entrance in the choir room, so we don't know what's happening in our school right now, but we're gonna try to figure that out. So in this episode, we are gonna confront Dylan Todd and figure out what the heck is in the basement of WCHS. All right, so to go back to Parsons, uh, we never got an interview from him, but we did get an email with his side of the story, and it all checked out. He just said he found Dylan Todd, who had fallen, and he also said that Mr. P was just walking by, not helping or anything. Don't know what's going on there, but maybe that's something to look into. So that's all we got out of Parsons. All right, now that I know Dylan Todd is a clone, I'm gonna send Baylor in as bait. And she's gonna ask him a question, and then I'm gonna call him out. And we're gonna see what happens. I got Dion down at the end of the hallway, just in case he tries to make a run for it. I hope he doesn't do that, but uh, we're gonna find out. So Baylor, let's go. get in there. Dylan, can I ask you a question? Sure. Yeah, I'll just be really quick, I promise. Stop. Hey, Dylan. Now that you're... Oh my gosh, he's fine. Okay. Listen, I know that you're a clone. I know that now. Who did it to you? And when When? when did you... Well, I don't know. I, I so, didn't... Someone just pulled me into the basement, and I just remember waking up after that. Okay, so you lied to me in your interview. You're not the real Dylan Todd. I don't know. You don't know. Okay, well that's great. Dylan Todd, I'm gonna find out who did this. And you're gonna be done for. So I'm sorry if uh, you guys can't really see us. We don't have any night vision stuff because we're just using our phones to film this. So uh, we're just gonna hop down and uh, we're gonna go a little farther this time. Hopefully not get caught. Ooh. Okay guys, so there's kind of like some pipage around here. You can hear people walking upstairs. Ah, that's hot. <laughs> so it's really hot, so we have to be really careful. Oh, you hear that thumping? Is it the gym? It's like a consistent thumb. Thump. Okay, what I'm gonna do for for uh, camera wise time, I'm gonna go down a little farther, so you guys don't have to watch me walk all the way down behind this wall. And, uh, let's there's see like, that. look, do you see that down there? There's like lights flickering. Down. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like it looks like orange and green. And it kind of looks like there's like streaks of stuff. Like somebody else has been down here besides me because I didn't go this far last time. Alright, let's go down there. What is that? Oh, look at all these hats, dude. Who got in the basement this far and put all this crap in here? I'm seeing something like moving around in the box. Like, oh, it's like wires. Ah, there's a crap. There's what? The hat is destroyed. What did that? What actually did that? <laughs> Are there like animals down here or something? There's a 
Oh my god, they don't suck. What? That's a kid of old school Mountain Dew. Listen to this. My mom had Wilkie as a secret Santa last year and bought him three cases of old school Mountain Dew. Not even kidding. Oh, that's nice to know. Maybe Wilkie is doing something. Has Wilkie been done here? So it turned into blue to the left. goes a lot farther and it winds around the school and this looks like a crawl space. I think we should end here for today. Guys, I have time to get back. I'm gonna end it here today. And I don't think we're gonna be coming back down this side. We might be heading through another side and hopefully we meet up with this. Hopefully we can find another entrance besides this one. I mean there's that door we were at. But I don't know. It's, it's almost as if someone's been down here. Like that isn't a gym. This is also like where the heater's at, so like it's really hot down here. Like I'm sweating. Okay, let's go head back now, guys. All right, now that we've been to the basement over here in the band room, there's only one person that I can interview about it. Mr. Pete. Let's see what he's got to say about it. Okay. Hey, Mr. Parmenter. Yeah, I guess. Uh, we have a question for you mm -hmm. about something we found in your, your room here. So there's a basement hatch over in the yeah. choir director's room. And I just wanted to know if you knew anything about that. I don't, I don't want to talk about that right now. Please. Oh, okay. So. You need to, you need to. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, you know, after that interview with Mr. P, uh, I'm real confused because usually he's a pretty chill guy, right? Yeah, I've never had problems with him. Everyone goes in his office to ask questions, and he's always really nice. So we're going to head into the white room to try to recap what's going on. And I feel like he somehow fits, but I don't know how. Uh, this is one of our pictures, isn't it? Did you lose a light on? <sighs> nope. What? No. What? What the heck, dude? What the heck? Somebody came in here and just... Why? What? Ripped it apart. Okay, that's the basement plan ripped up. Look at Our it. connections are gone. There's the entrance to the choir room is crumbled. What the heck? There's another picture on the ground. Okay, I was just starting to get really suspicious of Mr. P. But he couldn't have done it because we were with him, unless. Was it no. a student? I mean, people come in to do the school sign, but. But it's literally. Seventh hour. What would they have? They wouldn't be going in there. Okay, well, we're going to piece this all back together, and then we're going to try to figure out who was messing with this. I don't know how, but uh, we'll be back, guys. All right, so me and Dan have been switching off his cameraman, and Brandon sent me to go check out something that we found in the cafeteria. It was a mystery to me. Like, you go down there, it I know who was in the room and who tore up all of our board. <laughs> <laughs>